All right, so I've just had a putting lesson from one of the best putting coaches in the world, Derek Ueda. He works with Xander Schauffele, Phil Mickelson, and a whole host of other players. And there were two reasons why I had this putting lesson. Number one, he's actually based here at the Grand. And number two, I suck at putting, so I need more help. And he was actually, and he's nodding in agreement. And it was actually Andy's idea to do this as well. He was obviously feeling sorry for me. And it was, it was amazing, really, because I went from being thinking I'm actually really bad at putting to actually maybe I could be pretty good at putting and I 100% know that if you watch this it's definitely going to help you with your putting as well and don't forget we're here to help your game so if you haven't already subscribe if you have any questions about your game post down below. I'm going to hand you a tee yep. and that tee is going to go where you think the read is. Okay. So if you think it's straight I want you to put it right here. Yep. If you think it's three feet outside the left I want you to put it right there. Okay. Because when after I watch you, after I watch you, I'm gonna get a good idea of basically what the hell, yeah, what the hell, what the hell you're on, doing. Do you want me to go through how I just yeah, yeah, speak yeah. out loud commentary on yep, how I, I want to see who you are and what you do. This is like your putting DNA. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of stay out of your way yeah, and watch yeah. you. Cool. Again, feeling it now as I'm walking. Probably standing right on my line there, but I don't <laughs> you're care. You're all right. You're good still. <laughs> And now let's say this putt is on the 18th hole to beat Andy one up. Match is done already by then. <laughs> he's, he's, he's correct. In my favor, obviously. <laughs> okay. It's, it's interesting because then I, then I stand on it now and this is maybe something that happens to me when I'm playing. Mm. So when I stand on it now, I'll maybe feel like it's more. Okay. So when I'm here now, I'm going, well, actually I can feel my toes up and my heels down. Maybe so more. So the ball is above your feet. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll fast forward a little bit of this, but go ahead and take your setup. Yep. So let's say, let, let's, are you going to commit to this or you want to change it? Because if you're going to change it, change it. Because I don't want you doing something other than what you really truly want to do. I wouldn't change it by much. Okay. So, so here's something that's super important. Your optics and your proprioception, your feet and your feels, they can't miss. Like your, your feet can't feel one thing and your eyes feel something else. Like they, they, it has to be the same. But how many times, like your viewers, you could ask all of them, 100% of your viewers, all 100 million of them that you guys have. How many viewers do you guys even have? 200 million. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I shorted you. If you ask them, if you send out a questionnaire, do sometimes you stand over a putt, you look at it, you line it up, and you're like, oh yeah, man, that's freaking great. I didn't cuss, this is good. And then you get over it and you're like, there's no way in holy hell that's going in. Like, this is, this is, I can feel that it's not it. And then you get back and you look at it and you go, no, dude, that's, that's really good. <laughs> and then you stand over it again and you're like, so now there's conflict between your brain and, and your feels in your eyes. And that's not a place where we want to live. Like that, it has to be the same. So that's why I'm saying, if you want to move it, go ahead and move it. If not, and you feel pretty good, then yeah. let's see, because you said, go ahead and take your setup. Cause we're, we're just, we're just kind of fast forward a little bit. So that's, so you're ready to pull the trigger, right? Yep. Don't, don't pull the trigger. You're ready though. So the player's perception is huge. Is that in the middle of your putter? Uh, yep. Now you can go back there and tell me where you're aimed. Yep. Quite a bit further right of that. Way right. Way right. Either he's going to miss this way right or that read is wrong. He better, he, better, he better pull it from there if the read is right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's just, so if we were just to go to check aim, I mean, are you kidding me? Like, if you take this line and go all the way out, he's, that's so far off. But now watch this. So, Pierce, come on back in here. I'm going to fix it. So, Xander and I do this every time we putt. There's not a day that goes by that we don't do this. So, go ahead and put your putter there. Okay, so now take your setup, stay kind of relatively as still as you can. And I'm gonna put this back the way you had it. Does it feel like you're aimed at the hole now? Or does that feel okay? Because well, that's correct aim. Yeah. Whether you see it that way or not. Feel good? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. So that's, that was really interesting. So now, now I'm, my curiosity is really peaked. Uh, you're a little bit, a little bit, but not, Jesus, not, not as much as I saw. I mean, up. he is jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's let's just try it again. No chance he's making this now. <laughs> yeah, we've got. To, this goes in its pure luck. <laughs> we're break dancing in his head right now. That's all good though. So my question to you is: Did you hit it on your line? 
Um, I don't think it was that far off, but I couldn't really tell you. Okay. I love, I love the confusion. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's like, uh... I love, the, love the confusion on his face. Yeah. So I think you did hit it on your line. Yeah. It felt like it, it, yeah. it kind of, I mean, that's what I was looking at as well. I was looking yeah. to see whether it would do that. The first putt you've overread, mm -hmm. but maybe the next putt you won't. Okay. So here we go again. See, if I, if I look at that now, I'll tell you what I see. This is a, Andy, would you say you would get this putt on the golf course every time you played golf? A putt like this? Yes. Yeah. This it's is, yeah. Not ridiculous slope. There's, there's enough slope to make you think. Um, you know, yeah. So here's, this is, this will be the real test. So go ahead and put your tee in the ground. Okay. So I'm just going to, well, I'll just go on what I've seen, yeah? Yep. I'm going to grab something out of my. If I've read this putt for him, he'd be going, how the hell do you get there's that? No chance. So I can, yeah. I can feel something. I can feel something different to what I'm seeing. Yeah. And so we were saying that earlier. It's like, okay, can I get my optics and my eyes, or my eyes yeah. and my feet to tell me the same thing? Yeah. Doing something like this will help you go, yeah. I know so what I'm to trust to more, because yeah. this, is, this is telling me one thing, but this is telling me another yeah. thing. At this point in our lesson, I would say, okay, Piers, I wish you the best of luck, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna now force you to hit this ball precisely where you were aiming. Yep. And where you said. Yep. The, the good thing is now he cannot pull this he into the hole. He can't pull it, he can't push he it. He can't, can't pull it or push it If he pulls it, he's going to hit the tee on the left. Good to go. Yep, go for it. Oh my God, he got it on line. I would so, have swore he would have hit the left tee. So, yeah, yeah. I would have yeah. swore he would have hit the left tee because there's left to right break. And most people would go, oh shit, I got I to gotta get it over yeah. left. So, so I can feel that. I, when I'm standing like this, I feel it's left to right. Yeah, yeah. So I fe I'm feeling it's left to right. I know it's going to come left to right off there, but my eyes from there, I don't see any left to right yeah, break. Yeah. Okay, he's hit his start line on all three putts. So his perception of him pulling before we got started. Oh, I think I pull putt. Yeah. So, so it's oh, not a start line problem, potentially more of a green reading problem. And maybe possibly aiming because the very first putt, he was aiming way right. You were aiming way right. Mm -hmm. But... Do you know how hard it is to get the damn ball through that gate? Like we have, I have people like texting, is there some, is the gate too small? <laughs> like my wife handles a lot of the putting plates business. <laughs> and she'll get messages and Jody will get messages on putting plates Instagram. And there'll be comments like, I think you guys made the gate too small. The ball won't fit through. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God. It, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's <laughs> funny, not funny, right? Yeah. But that was such a good putt with such good speed and the ball missed yep. here. So then as a player, you go, okay, well, my correction, if I want the ball to go into the middle of the hole and I started it here, I would have had to have moved the tee somewhere around here. I'm just kind of haphazardly putting yep. this in there. So now you've like, we've totally changed what's happening. You could see, look at, can you, can you film video that? Look at the difference in the break. And I, I, like I said, I don't know if I moved that tee into the correct spot, but I'm going to move this thing now. I'm going to reset it. So I'll, I'll reset this thing and go, okay, well now let's give this another shot at what seems to be a better read. And if you make this on the first one, I, I'm buying lunch. <laughs> I'll buy lunch anyway, but spend some of my money before my wife spends it all. <laughs> I don't believe him. I don't believe him. Okay, so carefree, just go ahead and roll it. So let's see, and let's see what we do. Still low. And, and more speed, actually. Still low. Could it be there's more slope over? Yeah, I guess maybe. It might not be a planar surface. But that's still missed here, yep. ish. So if I moved it out. And it was fast, wasn't it? A bit hard. It definitely hit harder. So what, what do we know right now about his stroke? He's, he's starting it pretty good it's online, isn't he? pretty good. You'd see that that was breaking Left or right? But for me, it was like, it was like I look at it and this is no doubt. It's super obvious. It's yeah. like, I looked at it and like, yeah, it was like, no like doubt. He and I are looking at each other and yeah. going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what is he saying? That's, that's interesting, isn't it? Andy, one of the good things for your, for your viewers would be to leave the original read tee in there. Okay. So that they can go, wow. oh my God. How far is that out? How far off was I just yeah, now? Yeah. So there's the difference at this one. And that still might be a little low, you think? It could be. Yeah. But depending on the speed. We're gonna find out because he's gonna get it through the gate. <laughs> There's the pressure right there. Pressure. There's pressure. The pressure. <laughs> Added pressure, baby. Good to go. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Still oh. low. Oh. 
Now, it's pretty aggressive speed. That's, it, I'm, it, how incredible is that? He can't see it, it's still low. So it hit the edge, we'll move it over one more ball. Because we want it to go in here, we don't want it to, you know. Yeah, exactly. We moved it out again. I mean, look at his, look at his read. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This should be closer so, because we moved it out so much. Little bit softer pace yeah, and it went in the right softer side. Than the other ones, yeah, definitely. So yeah. if he likes that, if he likes that pace, he would need to move it out farther. So are we still rolling here? Yeah. So here's what I would do for you too. I would have you put in a T here. Mm -hmm. I would have you put in a T here. Okay. And I would have you put in a T here and make this same putt at three different Soft, lines on three medium, different speeds. Hard. So that's one of the things that I'll have the guys do in their pre-tournament warm-up. They'll work on the plates and know that they can start it right to left, left to right, and straight. At least to hold one. <laughs> it, it's only took him an hour to hold one putt, Derek. Is that, that's got to be a new record. Is that a record? Oh, my God. When you and Andy, when you and I were sitting back there and he put the tee in the middle of the hole, we looked at each other like, what is he? And that's, and that, but that, again, he looking that, at? That's what I see. It's, it's so weird. I'd, I'd love to know why yeah. I see that. So... And, but at least I know now which one to pick in the conflict. Yeah, yeah. I know which one, I know whose side your, I should be on. For now, I'll go with your feet Because Because as I say, I've got history telling me it's left to right. I've got the slope from here telling me it's left to right. I've got my feet telling me it's left to right. Yeah. And then my eyes are going, it looks straight. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's definitely don't a problem. It, don't see anything? Thanks, man. You got it, brother. Very good. Yeah. Thanks course. so much. Um, of update, update. We'll get six months down the line and we'll see Yeah, we'll goes. do it again. Yep. Thanks so much, everybody. If you have any questions, I'm sure you have. I've got some questions for this video myself down below. Post them. We'll see you soon.